So first off, what you want to do is go to your files and find a clip that you like. I'll use this one for example. And click right click, open with movies and TV. Click on this pen tool, save folder from video. Wait a bit, and now go to the kill. And what you want to do is go to the frame where you pull out your SMG and make sure to go to the first frame like this. Not like this, not like this, like this. Now save a photo. Save it wherever you want. Now go to the photo you just saved. And now what you want to do is take this tool, spot healing brush tool. Click OK. Now remove certain imperfections, like the kill, you don't need it, and the damage numbers, like that. Once you're done, what you wanna do is right click, duplicate layer, okay, and now make sure to hide the bottom one, like that, and go to your eraser tool. Now just cover your character and the person you eliminated. go filter convert for smart filters okay then again filter um, blur radial blur make sure to change it to my settings and now make sure to unhide this so as you can see the background is and you and the person you eliminated are not and now what you want to do put the damage numbers and the kill here like that I'll make sure to link a Google Drive to where you can copy and paste these onto your image and yeah so you, you can basically pick any pro you want you can do you can do clicks I don't know just anything and also you can change the font I'll make sure to put that too in the Google Drive. The one I like to use is like one of these. You can use whatever you want. But yeah. So after that, you wanna uh, go to File, Export, Quick Export as PNG, and save it wherever you want. Make sure to put the random name. And yeah. I'll show you a secret trick I like to use to my thumbnails for montages. You go and you find your thumbnail you just saved, then go to fusion page and now add this no plugin CC plus RS MB setting. I'll link this down in the Google Drive too, so make sure to go and download it there. I'll put it here and Connect these like this, and boom! Look at that difference before and after. And now, what you want to do is go to color, grab still, and make sure you save it. Click uh, CTRL S and make sure just add a random name again. Go export with display loot and make sure you change this to jpeg files put around the name again and export and go to where you just saved it and you're pretty much done